<laughs> Hola and welcome. Today is a very special day, something I've been waiting for for probably over a month now. Uh, potentially could be a game changer. Here where I live and the ocean is like 100 meters that way, I don't dive the ocean, I dive in caves. And the nearest cave uh, is about two hours away. The nearest dive shop is about an hour away. So I've been doing some research and found that uh, normal compressors, commercial compressors are out of my reach. They're, they're too expensive, not worth the money. And I was looking online, looking for videos, reviews, and really didn't find much of anything until I found this particular compressor. And it's made by a company in China called the Chushing. <laughs> and hola, and we are back. Mm. We are testing out a long-term test, actually, of our Tushing air compressor. I, I thought it was worth doing a video on, and especially with people um, like myself that live really out in the middle of nowhere, and, and to get to a dive site, it's two hours away. To get to a dive shop to fill tanks is an hour and 15 minutes away. So um, my best option would be to um, be able to fill my tanks on site. I want to do a long-term test. So what I did was I've been filling tanks. I'm, um, as you can see, this is about a month worth um, of cylinders. And so every day I'll come home from a dive. The next morning I fill them up in the morning when the air is cooler. And it's better for the compressor when it's cooler. Uh, you don't want them running hot. Uh, I do fill one tank at a time, letting the compressor rest about 15, 20 minutes in between fills. And it's been working out great. So I keep an eye on the run time, the pressures, start, end, the starting bar, the ending bar, the time it takes to fill to get to my desired fill pressure. And what I have noticed is my ending pressure, I've been ending it around 230 bar. And when the tanks cool off, they ended up being around 200 to 210 bar, which is just to where you want a 3,000 pound or 200 bar uh, cylinder. And I do a lot of cave diving, so a little bit of extra air does not hurt at all. And all right, so what I did also was the this is the shipping crate that it came in. I figured I, I'm going to do a little modifications. I added some wheels to it, and it is pretty heavy. It's around, God, I want to say it's close to 80 or 90 pounds for the compressor, so for me to move it around, it was kind of difficult. So I added a few wheels, and I also had my local electrician come in and wire me up a specific plug dedicated for the compressor. Uh, one problem that we did have is power here is fluctu it fluctuates uh, to say the least. It draws around 3,000 watt and we just too much for the house to handle. So I had my electrician friend come in, wire it right from our meter to a breaker. Uh, it draws around 30 amps and we haven't had any issues uh, since, I, since I've done that. Gracias Manuel if you are listening. <laughs> okay, so other than the power issues, we've solved that. Compressor doesn't come with oil. Uh, shipping from China, I did address the guy. I emailed the company and they did get right back to me on that. And they say they can't ship oil into national customs. Uh, so I had to source my own oil and that delayed my uh, using the compressor. It sat for about a week before I could actually use it. Uh, I sourced it through a local dive shop and a friend of mine, Carlos. And what I came up with was cold tree. Uh, they make compressors also. I did contact Tushing and they said this oil is perfectly fine for their compressors. It's breathable uh, synthetic oil. It's very expensive here. Uh, it costs around $85 for this one little liter. Um, the compressor holds around 600 liters. So unfortunately, I can't get two oil changes out of one can. So I bought a second can, uh, liter of oil and I'll be able to get three oil changes now. They recommend about 100 hours uh, change the oil. <coughs> okay. And it has about 25 or 30 air fills on it so far. You do have your oil fill, your dipstick. And it is full and clean. And when you're putting oil in this particular model, there's a, there's a, a bolt here that you have to unscrew and that'll keep the oil from burping. This is your fill, so it'll keep the oil from burping out 
and it, you add it, your uh, 600 milliliters and you're good to go. Keep constantly checking your dipstick, you don't want to overfill. Overflow protection, your air inlet right here. You always want to run these compressors on the open air if possible. I see over here that's just dying to get in the video. <laughs> Yeah, this is one of our, our beach dogs. <laughs> and you have your drain valve. This is the oil separator drain valve or water separator. And what I do is I just got a little a little container. And then after the tank is any cylinder I fill up, I just drain it into the cup. And it should be drained absolutely after every fill. You should make sure this is drained completely. And it also has a drain over here for another filter which is more your charcoal air filtration. So, when you initially want to fill up your cylinder, and I'll grab one of my... This cylinder is full already, but... And it also comes with the adapter for a yoke fill, not just DIN, but everything I have is DIN, so I remove the yoke adapter. All right. And what's very important is to keep both of these drain valves open. When you initially start up the compressor, if, the, if they're closed, it's instantly building pressure and it's, it makes it harder for the motor to turn the compressor. So to, to make it easier to let it warm up, you open both of those valves. It'll spill, spin the compressor much easier, let it warm up for about a minute or so. Once it's warmed up, close both your valves. Your pressure will start building up here. All this is doing right now is building up pressure inside the compressor and the hose. You want to build up the pressure to at least what the tank pressure is. Right now this is 200 bar, so I would fill that right to 200 bar. Once this equals the cylinder pressure, then you can open up your tank valve. And then you can let it roll. When it's finished filling, when you're up to your desired air fill you just want to shut your tank valve crack open your air your two valves here two check valves you know this is another beach dog that we adopted yeah, this is Anna and then and it, it'll bleed down until it gets to zero once it gets to zero I let it run for another minute or so again letting it cool off then I shut the compressor down completely then I can unscrew my hose and we are good to go it does have a uh, over overfill protection valve here which you can see is 320 bar so if this ever gets a 320 bar this will blow off like a check valve and i could imagine that'd be quite loud to wake up the neighbors um, you definitely want to not over pressurize especially with a cylinder that's only rated for 200 bar and this is pretty much all it came with it looks like it's a, a kit a rebuild kit these looks like um, the piston rings for the compressor and they look like feel like gauges and allen ring again very very few instructions on on this <laughs> when they should be done and it came with an instruction book instructions um, the kind of oil you should use it doesn't tell you how much oil you need but it tells you what kind of oil to use again not exactly the i wish they would improve that portion in conclusion after between 25 fills extremely happy with the unit it's been uh, performing just as just as i expected it to perform it's great if people are in rural areas that don't have access to a dive shop i, I do hope this helps i i look for different uh, videos on this unit and i honestly could not find any so hopefully this video does help people out there that hey you know what they, they, you need air and uh, this is a fairly cheap way to do it uh, but if there's any questions or comments please uh, send me the question in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them um, the cost of the unit will vary uh, that we've noticed uh, depending on if you go directly from the manufacturer Amazon does carry these Amazon Mexico carries these the prices do vary um, import fees I think we paid around 32,000 pesos uh, for this with the fees and whatnot um, so again it's uh, 
well worth it in my opinion yep. and uh, if, again if there's any questions please send us a comment uh, questions and comments we, we will do our best to answer everything we can and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe hit that bell and we probably try to put out a video every month um, different content not always about scuba diving but yeah okay mostly about scuba diving <laughs> okay all right we appreciate it and um, until next time hasta luego